Microsoft has been working quite hard recently with their new updates to GitHub Copilot as they just introduced a pretty big new update. And it seems like they are closing the gap between Cursor by improving their IDE even further with VS Code where they have now implemented new features to make it as good as a competitor to Cursor, Windsurf, and many of the other IDEs that are out there. They introduced a couple of cool new features recently such as the free access to their GitHub Copilot and this includes up to 2000 completions as well as 50 chat requests with an API that you can access to state-of-the-art models like Cloud 3.5 Sonnet as well as the O3 Mini and many others completely for free. Then they introduced many new features to greatly improve the Copilot to function better and be your ideal coding workspace and this is by introducing things like edits you have auto validations, you have multi-file edits, and so much more. And just this past week, they introduced another big update, and this is essentially to tackle Cursor's agent mode by introducing their very own agent mode that is directly available in the Copilot chat. GitHub's Copilot new agent mode is something that's going to bring advanced automation to VS Code. So essentially, it's going to allow it to iterate on your own code, fix errors, suggest terminal commands, and analyze runtime issues with self-healing capabilities. And alongside this, Copilot Edits is another feature that was just released, is now going to be available for anyone to access, and it's going to enable you to edit multiple files using natural language in a conversational flow that you can see within the GitHub Copilot conversation chat. And on top of all of this, GitHub also introduced Project Padawan, which is an autonomous Sway agent that is going to be designed to tackle software engineering tasks like generating, reviewing, and testing code. So this will basically efficiently and effectively act as your own personal AI-powered software engineer. And this is something that you can all access within this new update with GitHub Copilot. Let me correct myself actually, because the Sway agent isn't something that is currently released, but it will be shipping soon this year. And it's essentially going to allow you to directly assign issues to GitHub Copilot. And you can see this with this current example showcasing how you can use any of the GitHub clients and have it produce fully tested pull requests with the Sway agent. And once the task is basically finished, the Copilot will then assign you or your coworkers the PR and it works to resolve the feedbacks you add. And in a sense, it's something that will be like onboarding the Copilot as a contributor to your repository on GitHub and efficiently have all your tasks uh, automated with this software engineer. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Alongside the agent mode update, they have also introduced the vision capabilities of the Copilot chat where it can now allow you to share images in Copilot chat like screenshots or mockups. This is where Copilot will interpret these images and resolve issues whether that's error screenshots or help implement designs that will support different types of file structures like JPEG, PNG, you have GIFs, as well as many other types. Now, the main update is obviously around the Asia mode, which we talked about, but this is something that you can easily toggle on and off within the bottom tab of the Copilot chat. And you can have it so that the Copilot can autonomously now iterate on its code, fix errors, and even run terminal commands, as well as resolving runtime issues, similar to how you would with Klein and many of the other agent uh, mode features that you would see with Cursor. Alongside that, there's a next edit suggestion feature. And this is where Copilot can anticipate the next edit based on recent changes so that it could help you quickly revise code, comments, or even tests. Lastly, you have prompt files, and this is where it's going to allow teams to create, store, and share reusable prompts with predefined instructions and context, similar to how you would with memories in Klein. Now, there's also many other small features like the O3 Mini now being completely for free within GitHub Copilot, as well as many other small features that you can read through their blog posts, as well as 
their change log within Visual Studio Code, which describes all the details or to the updates further in detail. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at all these links in the description below. Now, first things first, you're going to need to make sure that you have Visual Studio Code Insiders installed. This is essentially a different version for you to access the experimental feature of the agent mode within GitHub Copilot. So make sure you have this version of Visual Studio Code installed. And you can install this for all your operating systems, whether that's Mac, Linux, or even Windows. Then simply go ahead and open up the Insider VS Code and go over to the Extension tab and search up for GitHub Copilot and Copilot Chat. Make sure you have those two installed to the latest release. And then once that is done, you want to go ahead and create an account with GitHub. This is completely for free so that you can easily access GitHub Copilot Chat. And once you create an account, you can then open this up within Visual Studio Code Insider and you'll see this button on the top right. Simply go ahead and log in and then you'll be able to now access the free models like the O3 Mini as well as Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And then you can also now access the new agent mode, which you can see over here. And this is only available with the Insider VS Code extension. Currently in agent mode, it is only going to allow you to use Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-4 Omni, but it should do justice for you. So in this case, we're going to use the agent mode for us to create a fully functional front end for a website similar to Airbnb. You can see it's going ahead and you using the ability to run terminal commands where you can go ahead and simply enable it. And you can obviously have this autonomously done by configuring it within the settings tab, going over to the section that says uh, GitHub Copilot and changing the autonomous request uh, to whatever you would like. So let's see what it ends up creating for us. So you can see all the different files being created right now. The nav bar is being generated right now, as well as the app files. And you can see all this is being done autonomously with the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model. So this is a great new feature of Copilot that will use different AI agents to help you code out your application, which is just insane. And the best part is it's completely for free with top tier state of the art models. So it looks like it is now complete. And what we can now do is go ahead and open up the HTML file to visualize what I had created. And there we go. We have the Airbnb clone fully generated. We have the top section where it has all the different types of homes that you can rent from amazing views, beachfront, and etc. And from what I've known Airbnb to have on their webpage is their search tab. Now that's something that I didn't accurately generate. It generated these big reviews of different houses that you can rent but essentially it did a good job in generating the top footer and it generated the base structure of this website pretty decently there's also obviously configurations that you can set to make the images a bit more smaller and have a carousel and add different sections but overall it's a great start to having a great clone generated by the Google Copilot chat agent mode. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it for today's video on the new agent mode by GitHub Copilot. This is truly remarkable and I definitely recommend that you try this out because you get to access the new O3 Mini completely for free as well as using the same capability that Cursor has. So definitely recommend that you try this out. Huge props to the team behind this by Microsoft. They have been continuously working on making a better alternative to Cursor and it looks like it is definitely a great option to use aside from using a, a Cursor and Windsurf. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon as well as the newsletter. Follow me on Twitter for daily AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you take a look at our previous videos. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and leave a comment if you are interested in learning about something cool or requesting to make a video on something. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.